everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome to the Half a Ween Hop and Giveaway with Whimsy Stamps. I'm excited to be a part of this hop because I wanted to share some of my favorite Halloween products. And this one is a brand new product. It's not Halloween necessarily, but this is the Fashion Dresses die set and the Fashion Dress Form die set. And it reminded me a little of our favorite Wednesday character. And so I thought I'd make a Halloween costume card today. I'm starting out with my very favorite frame die set. And this is the thorny frame die on the right. And on the left is the curly frame die set. I ended up not using the curly frame. I was just kind of trying to see which one I would like better to frame up that dress created to look like a Halloween costume. And I ended up liking this thorny frame die set that I'm working on right here. To give it kind of a spooky Halloween vibe and also make it feel more kind of like a wood grain frame, I'm using a little black distress paint to start out. And I'm just taking a foam tool here and pouncing on a tiny bit using just the edge of that tool. And then I have a foam brush here and I'm just using the very edge to add some brown distress paint as well. This is the brushed corduroy brown paint, and that's gonna create kind of a wooden look. I was going a little bit for a rusty look, but I decided I really liked this wooden look a lot, just by pouncing on a little bit of paint. So I did that to both of them, and now I have some distress grit paste here. This is the crypt paste. It's kind of got a little gray tint to it, and I'm going to use my finger just to put a little bit on and that will create some dimension and also some different texture to this frame die. So I'll just add a little bit here and there and you can see I'm kind of pouncing it on, leaving it kind of craggy on the ends, I wanna say. And I'll set that aside to dry while I work on the dress. For the dress, I'm using some neutral gray Copic markers to color this up and make it look like a Halloween costume that Wednesday would wear. I really love this dress. I think it is perfect for a Halloween costume card. I love it, but of course you can use it for a regular card as well. It's a really neat die set. Now let me give you a little more information about our Halloween hop. We're calling it a Halloween hop because it's almost halfway to Halloween. And you know here at Whimsy Stamps, we love our Halloween cards. Throughout the hop, each team member is sharing their favorite Whimsy Stamps Halloween products. Please remember that this is a hashtag driven hop and you must click on the hashtag in the title to find all the participating channels. I also have a list of the participants in the description box below with a link to their channel if that helps. Don't forget to like and comment for your chance to win a $50 gift card to the Whimsy Stamps online store, which is awesome. So I hope you enjoy this hop today. We really enjoyed putting it together for you. After I finish coloring up that dress, I'm going to take a darker gray Copic marker and just outline around the edges so to cover up any of the white edges there. So this will be a fully dark gray slash black dress. Just a little cute little black dress here. And that should finish that off. And now we can start putting it together with those fashion dress form dies. There's a look at that dress. I just love how it turned out there. And I cut this form die out of some flock. The flock sheets from Decofoil are really cool. They're kind of fuzzy and they're really deep dark black. And I thought it was fun to have the form be a little bit fuzzy, you know, like a mannequin. So now I'll just dot a little bit of glue on and put that dress right on the form. And then for the legs of the dress form, I chose the one that had the three different legs because I thought it looked a little bit more Halloween-ish. There are two, uh, I think actually three different legs that you can choose for your form die. So this is the one I chose for my Halloween card today. Now for that frame, of course I needed to add a few more Halloween elements. So I have chosen the pumpkin and mini jacks die set and I'm going to squirt that with a little broomstick mica spray. 
And while that's drying, I'll create the leather looking background. I'm using some leather textured paper here. I love this paper, it's really beautiful. And for the colors, I wanted to use orange, but not a super bright orange. So I'm starting with tea dye, and then I'm using a little bit of rusty hinge, and I'll go in with some vintage photo and then some hickory smoke to darken it all up. But this will be more of our orange element for our Halloween card. I'm going traditional here with some blacks and oranges, but they're more of a muted tone, not bright. So this is the hickory smoke that I'll add around the edges, and I'm just gonna keep adding ink until I'm happy with the look here, darkening it up, and I will go back through with all of the colors once again. Here's the secret to making the leather background a little bit shiny, and that's using some Distress Resist Spray. So I'll go ahead and put that in a box and spray that. I definitely wanna protect my work surface from the spray because it can get a little sticky on your surfaces, so definitely put that in a box. Now to back those mini jack-o'-lanterns, I'm using some gold cardstock here, but I wanted to knock back some of that shine by adding some of the brown distress paint to it. So I added that, allowed it to dry, and then I backed each one of those jack-o'-lanterns. Now for the very background, I've already sprayed a five by seven panel with some gray mica spray, and I inked on some of the Harlequin stencil for all around the edges. That's one of my very favorite stencils for Halloween. I've also used the Fun With Words die set one and two to cut out some words in order to spell Wednesday. So I've used the letters from those die sets and I've pieced them together to spell Wednesday. And this little stamp right here that I'm showing you is from the Handmade Monsters Clear Stamp Set. That's a smaller stamp set, but there's a really cool stamp in there that says Pieced Together By. So I stamped on the Pieced Together By, and then I'm gonna add my elements here, and you can see here's the letters I cut out to spell Wednesday. So it's going to say Pieced Together By Wednesday. <laughs> And that could have a couple of different meanings as well, which is really fun. So I, I added all of those on with some low tack tape and put some liquid adhesive on the back of each of those letters. I'll peel that tape off, make sure that everything looks good. I did have to rearrange a little bit of that exclamation point at the end. And now it's time to put all of this together. So we have all our elements. I'm going to use some foam dots here to add those mini jack-o'-lanterns all around the frame die. Everything is dried now, so it's, it's easy to put together. And I'll add our leather piece background to the larger five by seven panel. Then I can add our frame here. I'm just using liquid adhesive for everything, but of course you can use your favorite adhesive, whatever you like. I'll add that right there like that, and I love the variation in that frame. It's not just a one-tone look here, which is fun for this card. Next, I'll add the dress that we created with Copic markers and some of that fuzzy flock sheet, and that'll go right in the center there, and this is almost finished now. There's a little look at it. The only thing I need to do is add it to our card base. So I went ahead and created a card base that is five by seven. So this is a larger card than I normally make. However, I think it's totally worth it with all of these elements coming together for our Halloween costume card. Look at that, you can see the shine on the backs of the jack-o'-lanterns. You can see the different colors in the frame and that Harlequin background. It's so much fun. Now don't forget to comment and like the video and follow the hashtag that I've listed below in the title to see all of the other videos in this hop. I hope that you enjoyed this video today and that you enjoy the whole Halloween hop with Whimsy Stamps. I'll be back real soon with more cards to share. Until then, good luck and happy hopping. Bye-bye.